Okay, thank you. So we'll take it, uh, take off where we left off. Um, uh, Public Works Director Anderson, uh, you wanted to answer that uh, question, I assume. Well, that's, I guess that's always a possibility, but in this case, um, I'm thinking there with the, again, with the adjoining property owners, the fact that it's been unimproved uh, for this long a time, it doesn't go through, it's a dead end alley. Um, besides, um, again, I would, my recommendation would be to vacate it. All right. Um, I know that, uh, Alderman Stevens. <laughs> uh, I think it was back in August, the people at 1205 uh, 8th Avenue had contacted me about this. And of course I passed the buck to, to Brent. To They're the ones that made the request. Yes. And I think, uh, in this case, it's important to note that that never has been an alley. There never has been a through there. Uh, it never has been, uh, it has always been just the way it is currently. So there's never been any identification of an alley <coughs> there. Some of the other ones I know that, uh, that, uh, Brent has on our radar, the city has on our radar are similar and, um, you know, they just happen to be, uh, they had, like I said, they'd never been developed or never been uh, anything at, anything close to resembling an alley had ever been put in. As so. you re recall through that inventory process that we went through, um, there's going to be several like this. The only reason why this one came before you at this point in time is because we had a specific request on this specific alley. So um, now that we're getting into the winter season here, probably January, February time frame, I'll be bringing more of the, the um, undeveloped alleyways uh, throughout the town, throughout the city that was identified in that inventory uh, looking for recommendations for vacation. And again, we'll go through that same process where we'll notify all the adjoining property owners and seek their input uh, before we do anything moving forward. Okay. Uh, yep, Alder Alderman Snow. So Brent, you said you notified them, but, um, and nobody replied. Um, do, do we send that out certified or should we send it out before we go through the final process um, just to make sure? I did not send it certified. I sent it uh, um, regular first class to all the adjoining property owners as listed in the according to the assessor's records. And Brent, is that how we customarily send them? Typically, that's what we've done before, yes. Okay. okay. Alderman Porter. I was just wondering if you could refresh my memory. So when you vacate it, does the, do the property owners take over ownership of the property then, you know, behind their house? Correct. It's typically the alley is split and a uh, half portion goes to the adjoining property owners on either side. There's multiple ways you can do it. You kind of have to do it that, which is the typical. You could have one property owner want all of it, and the city could deed the entire parcel to that one property owner. When we've done that, we usually then negotiate a cost, though, for it. So they pay us something if we do that. Um, this will also require a public hearing, which is published, of course, in the paper. So they'll have the notices from Brent as well as the publication in the paper. And as a heads up, there's a lot of statutes that require certified mailings. Even when it does, I always mail first class as well. Because everybody gets that certified mailing saying, oh, I don't want that. But they all open their first class mail. So we send it both ways. OK. Any other questions regarding uh, the alley vacation? Okay, hearing none, uh, all those in favor, uh, please say aye. Aye. If there's any opposed, nay. Okay, motion passed, thank you. And Brent, item B. Item B, um, we have an air handling unit in our chemical centrifuge building at the wastewater treatment plant that we can no longer repair and we need to replace. We've received three proposals to complete that work. Cerrone Piping Company was a low uh, proposal at $22,602. I would recommend approval of proposal from Cerrone Piping in that amount for furnishing and installing a new air handling unit in the chemical centrifuge building at the wastewater treatment plant. This equipment will be paid for from the plant depreciation fund. And I guess I'll just add one caveat from recent experience on how all this stuff works. Hopefully, by the time they order this and by the time it comes in, they don't experience a price increase um, because we've uh, had that occasion on a couple of our projects already where just because of the delays and the timing and the way pricing structure is these days, it's really tight. So um, I would proceed with the motion of 22602 If there is some kind of increase uh, going forward, then I'll be back to council. 
Okay, thank you. Do we have a motion to that effect then? Motion by Alderman Porter, second by Alderwoman Frank. Uh, any other discussion, any questions? Alderman Snow. Brent, um, there's quite a disparity. You got almost the high bidder is 22,000 and obviously the one sitting halfway between any particular, or is everybody bidding apples to apples? And in this, in this case, um, because of the complexity of, of the unit and what it was there for and what it's doing, uh, being in the centrifuge slash chemical building down to wastewater treatment plant, we did have our local uh, architects, Owen Ernest Martin, do up plans uh, for us and specification on it. So yes, everybody bid the same thing, um, and that's how the bids come back. Okay, any other questions for Mr. Anderson? All right, uh, hearing none, then uh, all those in favor of the proposal from Cerrone, the amount of $22,602 uh, for the chemical centrifuge building, uh, the air handling unit at the chemical centrifuge building at the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, those that are in favor, say aye. 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 Those that are opposed, nay. Okay. Motion passed. And uh, that's all we have on the agenda. I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion by Alderman Snow, second by Alderman McGee. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? For the record, uh, we adjourned at 6.52 p.m. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>